Hi, I'm Michael Buffer here, and you are watching Lights Out. This is FessoCon for Lights Out, proudly sponsored by Spartans Law. We're here at the press conference for Liam Williams versus Chris Eubank Jr. I'm delighted to be joined by Mr. Kala Sowland. Kala, good afternoon, mate. How are you? And first of all, how much do you enjoy that press conference? Oh, fantastic. I think we just got the, uh, got the kickoff for the um, course to come. You know, we've got an absolutely cracking domestic bust up. So much at stake. Um, two fighters who only know the forwards gear. They don't know how to, they're, they're not guys who step, take a step back, which is great from the fans watching. Um, and the setting, you know, Cardiff going to be pumping and, you know, I know Junior, he loves that sort of atmosphere against him. So it's going to be uh, going to be red hot, and you know, it's. Uh, I mean, everyone who's watched that has just just started to get really get their 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 pulses going for December 11th. Well, I spoke to you um, a few weeks ago ahead of Chris's last fight. Um, we spoke about potential options because he was speaking about ending the, the year with a big fight. We mentioned Golovkin, a potential rematch with Billy Joe Saunders. Liam Williams' name has been mentioned. Golovkin is now tied up with Morata. We still don't understand what's going on with Billy Joe Saunders. Was Liam Williams always the number one choice? You like asking a man to explain how he won a game of poker. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I mean he was always up there because it, it's and it's you know we also looked at you know our, our let's say our our younger people in our team, our analysts, I always ask, you know, they read social media the whole time and they said the one that the one to make is, is that's the fight, you know. Saunders, anyone who's mentioning Saunders, you didn't ask me that question. I did, Saunders. I said did about really? five that, million off that you wanted. That, that, Billy Joe ain't getting back in the ring this year, that was pretty clear to me at the time. I do believe Billy Joe will hopefully come back to boxing and even if it's not against you, but you know, it's a, He's a great fighter and I hope we don't lose him. Um, but it was top of my list, yes. So you got out of me what you wanted? That was what you wanted? You know, that was the answer, yes. I didn't know it at the time, but I sensed it. It's a fight that Liam's been very interested in for, you know, I believe before the before his fight with Andrade. You mentioned at the press conference that when you took Billy, uh, sorry, Chris Eubank over to Stuttgart to fight Avni Yildirim, he walked into a Galatasaray atmosphere and he did what he had to do and he ended the fight by just standing in the ring as cool as ice. Was that appeal of going to Cardiff and perhaps repeating the same performance just too much of a good opportunity to pass away? Repeat that. I don't quite understand what you mean. So, I get, I get, no, I get the Yildirim reference, but what was the idea of going to Cardiff? Ah, okay. No, no, no. Stop. I know what you're saying. Okay. No, um, I, I like the idea of that's a bit of a legacy thing. His, his dad had the same, you know, and and he's something about that. You know, uh, I think it's, I mean, what, what Liam said up there that, you know, only came there because that's where he sells tickets. Well, I can assure you I've sold out Manchester Arena with, with Eubank uh, in about seven minutes flat. So, uh, with 17,000 fans. So, I, that's, that's, that's not, not the case. But in terms of, um, also, you know, I, I know that I know the Welsh sports fans, let alone the boxing fans, and they're going to make a hell of an atmosphere. And you know, we, we try and create as promoters a, a, an arena or a, a television product. Because don't forget, there'll be thousands in the arena, totally sold out. But the, but that would be one percent of actually who sees the fight. So the most important, really, and it's not not against the ticket buyer, but is how it's going to look on screen. And if you have an arena, and I mean, we just come out of bloody lockdown, listening, putting on fake, not fake sound at football matches. Um, how hot is that atmosphere going to be? And that. When I think back to the 90s when I started watching you know, the, the, the middleweights, um, and I'm going to start watching boxing a lot earlier than that, but watching the, the, the era of Eubank, of Ben, of Watson, etc. Um, 
was they were all red hot atmospheres, you know, and and they that's what we're looking for. So yeah. How much of a hostile atmosphere do you think Chris is going to get when he walks into Cardiff? Uh, right, it'd, be, it'd, be, it'd be red hot. I don't think it will be as hot as as, as what I saw with the Turkish fans because I've never seen anything like that in anywhere in the world in boxing before. I've never seen flares. Do you think that atmosphere in Stuttgart competes with the one that Rocky got when he went to Russia? Um, well, Rocky, which Rocky? Rocky IV. Rocky IV, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think Rocky Fielding, I was trying to think, did Rocky go, Rocky Fielding box in Russia? Um, no, um, well, I, would you compare it to that though? I, I, no, it's, it's, I, I, I'm sure, listen, I'm sure Car- listen, Cardiff's famous, whether it's the Cardiff City, whether it's the rugby club, rugby team, sorry, um, they, they love their sports, they love to get on it and have a night out and, you know, that's all good, that's, that's having the crack. But why, what, 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 with the Turkish fans, that was a bit more. I mean, there was, you know, it was a, almost a riot 20 minutes before walking, you know, and uh, there was, you know, flares, there was, you know, horseback police coming into the pitch. <laughs> it wasn't exactly, a, it wasn't exactly an advertisement for boxing. I'm sure it won't be that hot, but, but they'll be loud, you know, and, and, that's 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 what we want. We want to we want that that atmosphere, and you want that atmosphere as a promoter. You don't want to sit there with uh, you know, an orchestra playing in the background during a boxing fight. <laughs> you know, I mean, I, I love the shows from Monte Carlo, but you know, the, 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 the atmosphere is sometimes lacking a little bit. In there. Kind of, is it fair to say that December 11th we've got uh, Williams versus Eubank, 29th we've got Golovkin versus Murat, is it, is it fair to say that this is a potential Robin Round sort of semi-final? Could we see the winner versus the winner at maybe May, March 2022? It's like poker aren't you? <laughs> it's a good hand. Um, yeah, it's the, listen, and we've got that and then you've also got uh, the, the, you know, Andrade's boxing game, yeah, you know? So the nice thing is everyone's sort of got their fights out of the way, yeah? and there's some good tango partners there, aren't there? Some good little dance partners. How much of a possibility are those fights next year? Well, I'd, I'd say as long as, no one, not, not, as long as they all don't retire, I'd say they'll get made, you know? Um, you know, the, the, the fight that Junior wants is, is, uh, is Golovkin for his, le- for his legacy fight. But he's also just wants a world title fight, you know. And you know, it's been a rough year for him outside the room. And but we, you know, we were very close to a deal with Andrade for for now. Um, those things change, you know, circumstances change, and Andrade's fight this weekend. And good luck to him. Um, and and that's a fight, you know, that that can happen next year as well. Last night at the WBC convention, uh, the WBC revealed that they won't make the fight between Tyson Fury and Dillian White as of yet. They, to, they won't. They won't I, I didn't know it. that. Okay. Yeah, due to an ongoing arbitration case with Dillian White and the WBC. Your thoughts on that, Callum? Yeah. Oh, you really caught me off the block there. <laughs> um, look, I. Right, um, let me have a think about that. It's another good hand, isn't it? Yeah, you can have a good hand. You're really catching me today. Um, I would say, um, I think, you know, Tyson's just come out of, you know, a fight that was so great for boxing um, that I'd give him a bit of leeway on the one hand. On the one hand, Didion, he must have been mandatory for about seven years now. Um, yes, he has. He, the, the, the problem for Dillian is he, he lost to Pavek. So that breaks that that time as mandatory challenger. Yes, he went and wrong that right, uh, righted that wrong straight away. So uh, morally, we probably you don't know, say, well, Dillian is, does deserve a crack now. Um, on the other hand, Tyson, you know, just performed heroics, not just for him, for the sport of boxing. That gave boxing such a shot in the arm, I can tell you, unbelievable. For me, uh, uh, AJ Uzi, uh, just before as well, was a fantastic fight. But the, the, the night with Fury Wilder, that was, was it, you just talked about Rocky before, that was, that was, that was Rocky. 
The landscape of the heavyweight division promises to be explosive next year. We're all expecting to see a, a rematch between Joshua versus Usyk. You know, the question of whether we'll see Fury versus White is still up in the air at the moment. What can you see panning out next year in that division? With, with uh, the heavyweights, um, I see Hergovic taking them all. I, I, that was going to lead to my next question. <laughs> He's going to take them all. Any updates with Felipe Hergovic and Mike Bacoli? Um, with Martin Bacoli, no. Um, no, they didn't want the fight. End of. Uh, so, no, Bacoli, we, try, we tried to make the fight for December. They didn't want it. Um, so, Philip will take a, um, a keep busy fight in December, December 4th in Las Vegas, and then we'll fight the final eliminator in the first quarter of next year. So, we won't. We, it would have been nice to have had the Bacoli fight. I think we could have probably got it done as a final eliminator, but didn't uh, want the fight. I think they've, they've agreed now to fight Tony Oka, as, as far as I'm concerned, but I don't represent uh, Bacoli, so I can't talk on his behalf. But good luck to him and Billy. Good man, Billy. For, for Felipe Hergovic, are you looking at fighters such as you know an Ariola or a Charles Martin or even maybe a Luis Ortiz? We know Luis Ortiz and Charles Martin are expected to fight each other at some point this year. Are they potential options for um, Felipe within perhaps maybe the start this year? I'm going to say this and say this once. <laughs> Every single person in that top 15. Every single person in that top 15 has turned down the Hergovic fight. Every single one. So don't need to ask me a question. Every single one. Whether it's Martin, Ruiz, Ortiz, whatever they're called, all of them. The lot. The lot. It's like conspiracy theory. I don't know. Does the man have the wrong aftershave? I don't know. <laughs> International wise, what about British wise? You've got big fights that you can make with British fighters, such as Daniel Dubois. We know Joe Jewis might have to have a wait for a yeah, world title. But, so but, yeah, I'm one. with you, but you're playing fantasy manager now. We are the leading contender for the world title. So we're not going to go and make Daniel Dubois and that's the, unless that's the final eliminator, are we? True. Okay. Now that was a good hand, eh? <laughs> you got me there. Right. How does December 11th end for you? How do you see the fight panning out between Liam and I think it would be Chris? a very good fight. They go forward so it can only be a good fight. Um, I think that's the fight though that suits Junior much, much more. You know, the solid chin, the, the speed, the power. I just, I only see, can see Junior winning it. But it's, it's going to be a great fight and, and, and uh, looking very forward to it. All right, Callas Allen, entertaining, entertaining as always. You were sharp today, my friend. <laughs> Thank you very much Take for your time. Take care, over and out.